Hey guys, today we are in Psalm 17. Let me read it for us. It's 15 verses, so follow along with me. It says, Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From your presence let my vindication come. Let your eyes behold the right. You have tried my heart and you have visited me by night. You have tested me and you will find nothing. I have purposed that my mouth will not transgress. With regard to the works of man, by the word of your lips, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I will call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adverse adversaries at your right hand. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked one, from the wicked who do, do me violence, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity. With their mouths they speak arrogantly. They have now surrounded our steps. They set their eyes to cast us to the ground. He is like a lion, eager to tear as a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise, O Lord. Comfort him. Subdue him. Deliver my soul from the wicked by your sword. From men, by your hand, O Lord, from men of the world whose portion is in this life. You fill their womb with treasure. They are satisfied with children, and they leave their abundance to their infants. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with your likeness. David is showing us the contrast between someone who follows God and between someone who follows the world. He closes out by saying that in the morning, he will be satisfied by looking at Jesus. He's not like the world that finds their satisfaction in pretty much everything else. David wants to find his satisfaction in Christ. And he finds that satisfaction by looking back to verse 5 where he says, My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I want to encourage you today to get into God's word every day. Don't just, just see it and look at it from the surface, but dig in and make sure your feet are grounded in God's word because in God's word, and we begin to know God and, and dwell in his commandments, then we will become like Christ. And it is Christ who began a good work in you. We'll use the power of God's word to make us more like him. Comment below how God's word is encouraging you today, and we will see you tomorrow.